Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I integrate Google Analytics in this very very basic page where I have page 1, page 2, page 3 and the block from the SAPA template. So to do this I go to Google Analytics and I create a new property and then I click on get track ID and then I can copy the code here from the global sit tag from Google. I click on copy, then I go into my editor and I click on template and here in the head section of my page I just paste this global code from Google and now when I save this and I go back to my page one here and then in Google Analytics I click on real-time overview I see that one person is online and that's me. And here I see that I'm on the root page of my website. And now when I change the path, for example, I go to blogs and then I click on this blog post what is on SEPA, I see that my route did not change on Google Analytics. So what we need to do is we need to tell Google whenever we change a page and here in the Google Analytics documentation we see that we can send or use this G tag here to tell Google whenever we change a page. So we can go back into our project here. Then in my layout.svelt file in the script tag I can import my stores from at sapper slash app and then I can get from this stores the page store and then I can create a reactive assignment so I use this dollar sign and then just for testing if this works I can write console.log and then I take or I subscribe to the page store and then I take the pass from this store. Then when I save this and I go back into my browser, I reload the page and I look into the console, I see here this slash. Then when I click on page two, I see slash page two. When I click on page three, I have slash page three. And when I click on block, I also see the block URL. So now I just need to post this path to Google Analytics. To do this, I copy this gtag example function here into my reactive assignment like this. And then I replace this string with my Google Analytics ID. Then I remove the page title and this string home I replace it with my page path like this. And then when I save this I see it already here in my terminal that G tag is not defined. And this is not so great but it's normal because on the server side there is no G tag. So to avoid this error message on the server, we can just check here if type of g tag is not undefined, then we want to execute this console.log and also execute this g tag function. So when I save it like this, and then I go back here and I reload my browser and I go back I see there is no error in my terminal and then I go to Google Analytics and when I reload Google Analytics and then I reload also my browser again just to avoid any errors and then when I see here my active page for the moment it's this blog post and now I switch to page number two and then I wait some seconds and I see here my active page changed in my real-time overview. 
then for testing I go to page 3 and also now when this is changed I go to another blog post and I think that this is ok and this works so this is great now when you want to improve this a little bit and you don't want to have so much code in your layout file because this is just for Google Analytics you can cut this out and we can create a new component I call this Google Analytics dot svelte and then I paste my code in this Google Analytics file I just need to create a script tag and then I go back into my layout file and here I import now my Google Analytics from components slash Google Analytics dot Svelte and I save this and then I just import Google Analytics like this and then I go back into my browser I reload it here and then I switch my page to page number two and here in my active page I hope that this works so I wait some seconds yay it works okay that's it for Google Analytics I hope this video was helpful and if it was helpful please give me a like or subscribe to the channel thank you and goodbye